boys and girls, men and women, whatever you want to be called, we got a long one today. 99 Vigor Bill. 125. You see the stats? We got a long one. A long video, a long video. I'm going to try to talk the whole time, but in the end, I might not. Y'all see the stats. Y'all see all the stuff we using. 99 Vigor. Honestly, I enjoy it. I truly enjoy playing with 99 Vigor. It was actually the most fun I have had in the Elden Ring. Daddy, I, I don't know, man. I feel like it made a difference. This is this is just my opinion. To me, because it might not be the same to everybody else, but it made a difference to me. It made a huge difference. I mean, a lot of stuff where I would have been dead, I was still alive. You seen the talismans. You seen I got on that, uh, that blue feather talisman. And you see the shield that I got on my back to boost my absorption when my health get low. And I also got on the skeleton armor to, uh, you know, get the regen when my health get low. Now I know. I know. I look like a total noob. But I enjoy myself. <laughs> I'm not lying. I enjoy myself. Uh, I also got on the Shard of Alexander. You see Bestial Vitality on there right now. Uh, I could switch over to the Faith Talisman, the one to give you five points. And I'll be able to use Bestial Vitality. I told y'all in the last video, uh, there's nothing wrong with using Bestial Vitality at high levels. I mean, some regen is better than none. So, you could switch out the Talismans if you want to i mainly use this uh shard of alexander so i can get that big delicious damage on unsheath because you know and and on uh i use unsheath a lot on this video i use it a lot so running bestial vitality i probably won't be able to do it honestly because i use i use all my fp on unsheath so later in the video I take Bishop Vitality out because I'm not gonna be able to use it. But I'm saying if you try to build you you can do that. You know, if you run through the PvE and you can put on Bishop Vitality, you know do stuff like that. But yeah, I I enjoyed it. I ain't man, I ain't had this fun this much fun in a Souls game. Well, yeah, I don't care. It, it's a Souls game to me. I know some people, it's not a Souls game, it's Elden Ring. It don't matter. It's a Souls game to me. I haven't had this much fun in a Souls game in a long time. I haven't had this much fun in a Souls game since I first started playing. Because, and it, you know what? It's my fault. The reason why it's my fault because I got into being competitive. And I feel like, you know, I was so focused on getting better and trying to compete with uh, people and trying to be better than them that I stopped having fun. I started always trying to wear the, the best gear and trying to always be optimized and it, I started losing, it started, it started being more of a job than it was fun because I was always trying to compete with somebody. And then after a while, all that competing, trying to compete with people, trying to show them I'm better than them, it, it, it gets boring. It gets, hell, it starts, like I said, it starts to become like a job, man. But I, I, I had fun with this build. I wasn't trying to go in and win every match. I was just weaving out. I got a katana. I love the Uji. I love the. If it wasn't for the Uji, this how much I love the Uji. If it wasn't for the Uji, I never would have beat the first uh, Dark Souls. 
I never would have beat the Uji Katana carry when I first started playing Souls games I started on Dark Souls Remastered I think that game came out in 2018 I believe. that's when I started playing it at least in 2018 when I first started playing that I literally I, I couldn't get through nothing like I is like it was so hard to me like I just I was about to stop playing it man it, it was so hard but I ended up picking up the Uji Katana because I killed that merchant I killed a merchant by accident I ain't know no better and I got the Uji and man when I got that Uji you know I played with it you know he wasn't that character wasn't spec right so I played with it and I was like man I'm getting through this this game a lot easier so I created a whole new character around the Uji Katana instantly beat the game if it wasn't for the Uji Katana I would not have beat Dark Souls 1 I love the, the Uji is my baby because it will always be that weapon I look like look at and be like if it wasn't for you I probably wouldn't be in, into Souls games today because if it wasn't for you I never would have beat the first Dark Souls I love the Uji I love it. I will play with the Uji over any katana. Any day. Any katana any day. But let's get back to the beat. I feel tanky. Even in this little arm. I feel tanky. And I like that. Add on, I'm doing good damage. I think below 30 dexterity because this is the XB of course uh below 30 dexterity that's when it's like not good the damage is not good below 30 uh 30 and above the damage is, is good getting to 40 if you can get to 40 because i got the 40 uh yeah if you get to 40 man your damage is good is it, it might not be the most damaging, but it's damaging enough. You seeing me kill multiple people. So it's, it's good damage on it. It's good damage. And the, that, that 99 Vigor, man, I had to sacrifice a lot of stuff, though. I had to sacrifice endurance. You seeing the stats, you know, my endurance is low. Um, my mind is low. Uh, I don't. I wasn't gonna put into uh, strength at all because it's a dex build. I really had to make it a dex build because I don't. I can't even remember. I know I just showed it at the beginning of the video. I can't remember what this character started out as. But it, you know, I wouldn't. You you can create one around strength. You can, but you you not finna be able to use like uh, the giant crusher or nothing like that. You know. I don't know. Maybe you you might if you can get the forty strength, you might you will be able to use. I think you could two hand a giant crusher at forty strength. So you might be able to uh, do. It. Uh, but I, I just went ahead and went with Dex. I, I felt like Dex was a little easier with uh, from the character that I had. And it's like I said, you see it in the video. I you see me having fun. Like I'm. I'm getting, and, and also as you see, I'm getting better with the Uji. Like my roll catches and my mix-ups and stuff like that is getting better and better with each video. Like, I really enjoy myself with it. I would not have expected to enjoy myself as much as I enjoy this build. Like it's it's not optimized. It's, it's not it's not optimized at all, man. I <laughs> I wasn't even expecting to get that many kills with this build, but it seemed like every invasion I went into it's, it's just was pure fun. It was pure fun, man. I I had a ball. I had a ball with this build and I will be playing this build a lot more. Cause I, I truly do love it. I tried uh, stacking the defensive uh, talismans, and uh, well, the defense talisman and the um, the shield, 
and it, it, them two first of all the talisman have saved me on other bills i had i know the talisman is good i know the talisman because it, the talisman has saved me a lot of times but to stack it with this shield it feels even better that blue feather talisman uh with this shield feels wonderful it's i have survived a lot of times because of those two being stacked and then that regen kick on because of this arm so you know it yeah i, I, I like the way it is plus ain't this guy i'm asking i'm asking y'all leave it in the comments ain't this game percentage based because it seemed like that um the more health you have the faster that shield and that talisman come on that's that's what it really in the armor as well it seemed like the more health. i think this game is percentage based i don't know i could have swore i heard somebody say it was uh, percentage based and as you know so the more health you have the faster those talismans don't gonna come on. I think that's what's happened. That's what happened on uh, a few of my fights. Like that talisman came on and uh, saved me. The talisman and the shield came on and saved me a few times while I was invading. And if if this game is percentage based, I hate that they done that. I really do. I hate. I wish it would have just been flat. But I ain't gonna complain. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna complain about it because I I truly did enjoy this video it was wonderful give it a try you might like it then again you might be like Elden Ring damage too high and it's pointless but to me I'm, I'm gonna keep rocking with it I also put a bow on this bill you gonna see that later on in the video put a bow on here a short bow and I wanted that bow on there so I could uh you know when I'm not close to nobody I might be sitting up on the ledge or something you gonna see me sitting up on the ledge just shooting arrows at people you know it's just regular arrows there weren't no fire arrows and I did put fire arrows and magic arrows on this character but uh, in the video with me shooting the bow I was just shooting regular arrows, just having fun, just just doing stuff, just me doing it. This fight right here, uh, I guess he wanted to duel people, but what I seen was he didn't have fours. Now that I see that, this becomes a game of space. Dark Souls Three played a lot of DS Three. I wasn't the greatest in the world. I wouldn't. But I played a lot of uh, DS3 to know how to fight with only space. So I felt like I had the advantage here. I felt like, yeah, I'm finna outspace him all day long. He has no poise. He even have to play Dark Souls 3 with me. You know, once again, like I said, I'm not the best. I ain't saying he couldn't have beat me or none of that but at that point in my mind I was like I can do this I just gotta outspace him that's all I gotta do that Dark Souls 3 in me true <laughs> but it was, this, was, this was a good fight it really was dude put up a, a good fight I let him heal I didn't heal but, you know and I I'm not trying to brag, but I didn't. <laughs> I'm not trying to brag, but I didn't. You know, but like I, like I said, man, it, it became that, that that Dark Souls 3 mode kicked in. You know, I was on Xbox. You know, Xbox was toxic. You beat somebody, they immediately inbox you. Oh, you garbage. <laughs> you know, shoot. Man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I kind of miss playing on Xbox because of the toxic stuff. I know a lot of people be like, man, I hate toxic gamers and all this and that. Man, I'm telling you, playing on Xbox with all them toxic people was so fun because I never took nobody really serious. I didn't. Come on, man. We inboxing over the internet. You will never see me a day in life. 
I done had people inboxing me crazy stuff, and I've done a lot of inboxing myself. I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes I catch myself inboxing people on here, just trying to, you know, troll. I, I just can't help it because I played on Xbox for so long. Almost everybody on Xbox are trolls. I'm telling you, almost everybody on Xbox are trolls. If, if, if you beat them, they inbox you. If they beat you, they inbox you. It, it, it's just, and then it, it be the most, it be sometimes it be disrespectful stuff. You know, some people be like, oh, it's just so disrespectful. Bro, it's just a game. Somebody be like, oh, you garbage. You should be laughing about the stuff. You just, Some people be getting mad. Oh, 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 bro. Like, he call you garbage, say something messed up back to him. You know, it, that's what I would do. Somebody be like, inbox me, be like, oh, you garbage. Ask your mama how garbage I am. You know, just say some crazy stuff like that. You know, they gonna inbox me. Oh, oh, you childish. You're just a kid. <laughs> you just having fun, man. I don't know. A lot of people found it toxic, but to me, it was just fun. I, how can you take somebody serious that you don't know? Think about that for a minute. They literally ain't never seen you. Don't know you from the man on the moon. Why would I get mad? It makes no sense. It, it, it just makes no sense. Why get mad? They don't know you, man. It, so many people are like, you grew up with them. Oh, yeah, you can't say that. Bro, he don't know you. So why is it bothering you? You should just laugh it off. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with some people, man. I, I like the troll. Cause I like to troll people. I like when people troll me. Cause I just be waiting on them to say stuff, man. Some people say the most craziest stuff. And I just die laughing. I, I had a few people uh, send me voice clips. And uh, matter of fact, I tell you what. On Xbox, this happened on Xbox. Now, I know I done jumped all off such, but I, I gotta tell y'all this. So I'm sitting. I'm, I was playing Dark Souls Three, and. I beat this dude, and he immediately inboxed me. And you know, I'm just sending back the laughing emojis. I'm, I'm just sending back the laughing emojis. And I was like, how old are you, kid? I bullshit you not. This dude sent me a voice message, and that dude said, old enough to fuck your dad. Man, I died laughing when I heard that. I died <laughs> laughing. Some people, some people would have got mad like, oh, oh. Bro, it, come on, man. Come on. It, it's, it's funny. Some people just take things too serious in life. They just take things too serious. This is supposed to be a game where you have fun and you talk shit to people. And that's what I do. I have fun and I'm going to talk shit to you. I'm going to troll you before you troll me. Some people just get so upset. Some people be getting... Uh, salty as hell when they lose. I'm not gonna lie. I have done that before. I have done. I've done it multiple times. Yes, so, like I said, man. It's like this bill right here was more about fun. It wasn't about going in, win every match, win every match. No, man. No, 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 no. Just go have fun. Look at look at this video right here. Look what I'm doing. I'm weaving out, man. I'm weaving out. Watch this. Hold on. This one come up. I see they got katanas. I got a katana. Let's have a katana battle. Look at the blue. Watch what the blue come in and do. Hey. Look what he doing. Ain't paying me no attention. None whatsoever. Every every invasion, you don't have to win every invasion. You don't have to be competitive every single time. Sometimes you just have to have fun, man. Ain't nothing wrong with being competitive. Nothing at all. But when it get to the point to where you not having fun, that's what these games are made for, man. For you to have fun. On a few of my older videos, I went back and you know, watched a few of my older videos where I'm complaining and no, 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 no,
No more of that. No more of that. I just, I just want to have fun. That's all I want to do. I want to create these crazy bills that makes no sense. I want to wear new, new bitch armor and, and all that. I get tired of wearing bull go veterans. I get, I get tired of wearing it. It just, like, let's be honest. Look at my armor. When you see my armor, first thing come to your mind is. Oh my God, this dude must be a new invader. He don't know what he's doing. You, you know, there's, in a few of these videos, you see where I was acting like I didn't know what I was doing because of the armor I'm wearing. You know, but when you, I'm gonna tell you now, I don't know if, if, if y'all think this way, but if I see bull goat veterans, if I see veterans, bull goat, uh, lion air armor, man, man, if I see some of that, Oh uh, yeah, I'm automatically expecting uh you to be a tryhard. Like straight off the rip. Cause you, you see so many tryhards wearing it. You know. And ain't nothing wrong with being a tryhard. Hell I was a tryhard. I you see I got plenty of videos of me tryhard. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But if you not having fun doing it, time to do something else. I wasn't really having fun. Too much. Too much. Too much. It's kind of like stress. It's kind of like stress. You trying to win every single damn match, and it's it's just pointless. I just want to just want to have fun. Well, I'm getting better and better with that katana. <laughs> better and better with that katana. But yeah, you know, if you if. If you feel like the only way you can have fun is to be optimized, then do so. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But if optimized is is boring you or pissing you off or whatever, hey. go back to making fun bills. I like seeing different bills. I like seeing different fashion. I loved this right here. I love the scenery. I'm so glad he chose to do a fight club up here. Man, when the DLC drop, I hope they have a whole bunch of arenas that's beautiful like this. I enjoy fighting right here. I truly enjoyed it. It's, it's nice scenery. But speaking of DLC, I'm going to say this. Dark Souls 3 has some... Uh, I don't like the way axes are in this game when when their power stands, man. I wish they would have kept the Dark Souls 3 Twin Axis moves in. I feel like Axis would be so much better if they had Dark Souls 3 uh, Wing Knight Twin Axis moves in. That, that move set is nasty. And I, man, I just, the only axe I really see in this game is, uh, the axe with thunderstorm and this is for good reason i got a video on this channel uh with that axe and y'all already know by now i don't have to tell y'all that axe is basically a one shot it, it basically is man you you press l2 and they get cut off it and now i know you can pull us through it. i didn't i didn't have people pull us through it on uh, I done poised through it myself as well. But if, if you don't have the poise and that X catch you, you might as well put that controller down. It's wrapped up. That's just it. But I, I really wish they would have kept that that twin uh that Dark Souls 3 twin X moveset, man. That that X moveset was it was vibe. You know, Axes in this game, power stanced. No, nah. you, you, you won't even have fun playing with that because you're not. You listen. You want to have fun, not get frustrated. And playing with dual axes is frustrating as hell because you you can't land. The same thing with dual maces, man. You just can't land that shit. Just can't. 
You know, you 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 will get one hit, but that next hit ain't having it. Damn, if I'm only gonna get one hit, what's the point of playing with do? I might as well play with the damn thing. I feel like maybe if they spared the move set up a little bit, maybe you could do it. I think I think if they just spared it up just a little bit, you know, you'll be able to get through too. Cause I mean, when you play with straight swords, they hit at the same time. Curry swords hit at the same time. Come on, man, speed up the action move set so they get hit at the same time. Well, I've been talking for about 25 minutes, so I didn't make it all the way through, but that's, you know what, now, if I've been talking for 25 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and keep talking, why not? This is the uh, video I was using the boat, just playing around, headshot, fire. Just having fun with it. Not trying to hit them. I'm just wasting arrows because them arrows are dirt cheap. And I don't care. Now, if them was fire arrows or magic arrows, I promise you, I would not have been shooting them like that. At all. I would not have been shooting them. Man, it's... Man, them arrows too high to me. I ain't got it like that. Them rooms you see right there, I'm saving them. I ain't finna spend... I ain't finna, I'm gonna spend that on uh, upgrade material. Y'all know how high the upgrade material is. Oh, playing as a lord. You just go do the bird for him. I get tired doing that for him, man. I do. I've been doing that for him for I don't know how long. I'm tired of doing it. So now I just say stuff just in case I want to upgrade another weapon. I just hold on to him. If I die, I go get my soul. I know a lot of people, they'll die and be like, Oh, it's just a hundred thousand. No, I'm going to get them. I don't care what PVE I got to fight through. Them going back in my pocket. I work hard for them. And I'm going to keep them. Oh, right. I work too hard for them. Uh, them rooms, I'm keeping mine. I'm, it, man, I, still to this day, I get frustrated when I lose rooms. As long as I've been playing... Souls games, as many times I done lost a hundred K or whatever, I still get upset. I'd be about ready to cut the whole game off. You know how mad man this if I'm if I'm invade and I lose the rooms and then I hit in uh, like just start invading again by accident, cause sometimes I just be just doing pressing stuff. I don't be thinking about it, I just be pressing stuff. If I get into an invasion and I ain't got the runes that I uh, I just lost. Oh, oh yeah, I'm leaving that invasion. For sure. I can spawn right by the host and he'll have a piece of health. I'ma still leave. I ain't taking no chances. He can go on, he can go on by his... Hey, anyway, hold on. Y'all see how they saved me? You see how that, uh, that blue feather talisman and that uh, shield saved me there? It's good stuff, man. Good stuff. But yeah, I don't care if a host got a piece of help. I'm leaving. I ain't taking no chances at all. I'm getting my room. Work too hard for him. I think this is the last video. I think it is. Yeah, it's the last video. Alright, recap. I enjoyed the build. I didn't expect 99 Vigor to be this full. I didn't expect it to actually uh, survive as long as it did. Got good damage. Might as well be a tank. I like it. I love it. Keep playing. With that, like and subscribe. See y'all later.